Lion, feeling a sense of pride in his good deeds, gently picked up the tiny furry creature, thinking he had just saved a helpless animal and nursed it back to health at home. It was a chilly morning when he discovered what he thought was a lost kitten, shivering under his porch. However, the routine checkup at the vet took an unexpected turn when the veterinarian's complexion turned a ghostly shade of white. After examining the kitten, the veterinarian was truly amazed by the strange creature's physique, it had a gray coat of fur and was incredibly tiny, but Lion still looked at the veterinarian expectantly. He observed the animal for a long period, feeling afraid. After a little while, the veterinarian returned with startling news. I've called animal control, but what animal did Lion find in the woods? Why does animal control have to get involved? the veterinarian said, hinting that there might be a problem. While walking his dog, Lion suddenly stopped and directed his nose in the direction they had already arrived at, near the house once more. His dog had never behaved in such a manner, so it was likely crucial. Sam asked, do you see anything? And, sure enough, he heard a rustle coming from beneath his own porch. The small kitten was there, barely moving and not making any noise. Lion knelt down and carefully cleared the leaves and clutter. Its eyes were closed, likely due to exhaustion, so Lion carefully picked it up and put it in his jacket pocket. The animal's body was trying not to startle, and he gasped when he saw how large it was. The animal's facial structure looked different from the animals he knew. Lion wondered why his dog, a male, would be so interested in the animal when it had never interacted with other animals in the area other than the animals they had encountered during walks. Sam would never be interested. The only wild animals Sam was interested in were squirrels, ducks, or other animals he could encounter. Chase, who had grown up in the forest, used to do the same when going on hikes with his old family dog. Once they were inside the house, Lion quickly turned a box he had left into a small safe haven. For the animal, he didn't know what he was dealing with, but he assumed dog food wouldn't be too difficult. Now, all he had to do was wait for the animal to awaken and begin feeding. The animal was weak but obviously conscious, trying to move its legs but only being able to wiggle them very slightly. After a day or two, the animal started to move. Lion was thrilled to see the animal inside the box and couldn't take his eyes off of it, but that quickly changed when the animal gained the strength to open its eyes. The animal opened one eye slowly, and Lion screamed in astonishment. The other eye was bright red and slightly sticky from being closed for such a long time. The animal's appearance was horrifying, and Lion was afraid it might be a very sick animal. He decided to put the animal back in the box and made his way to the clinic. As he got closer, Lion noticed a note written on the door that said, Sorry, emergency back tomorrow. This made him frustrated because he was wondering if the animal situation was an emergency. He turned to face the busy street, wondering what to do next. Suddenly, a sign for room for rent caught his eye. Could this be his lucky break? Lion quickly crossed the street to the building and rang the bell. An elderly woman answered the door, saying, Yes, dear, can I help you? Lion inquired about the availability of the room that the woman had given him. Lyona then turned to look at his dog in the box he was holding. She told him she needed to check something and would return in a few moments. When the woman returned, she asked, What do you have in the box? with a hint of suspicion. Just some old clothes, I'll only be staying one night, Lion replied, hoping that his explanation would be sufficient. She then stepped aside to allow Lion and his dog to enter. Lion reluctantly agreed to a quick breakfast, but after eating, he realized that the clinic would open in another ten minutes. He thanked the woman hastily, grabbed the box, and ran across the street, keeping the lid closed to avoid drawing attention. As time passed, Lion became more and more agitated every time he checked in with the receptionist, but he was met with the same reaction five more times. Lion waited, weighing his alternatives and mindful that others were also dealing with serious cases. While Lion was thinking through his options, a veterinarian passed by the clinic's entryway, 
pointing directly in the direction of Lion and the box he was holding. The veterinarian, Dr. Martinez, seemed intrigued by Lion's presence and the box he was carrying. He approached Lion and asked, Excuse me, sir, but what do you have there? Lion hesitated for a moment, unsure of how to explain the situation. He decided to be honest and opened the box slightly, revealing the strange creature inside. Dr. Martinez's eyes widened in surprise as he examined the animal carefully. I've never seen anything like this before, Dr. Martinez said, his voice filled with curiosity. Where did you find it? Lion recounted the story of finding the animal under his porch and his unsuccessful attempts to get help at the clinic. Dr. Martinez listened attentively, nodding occasionally. Lion's heart sank a little upon hearing this. He had hoped that the veterinarian would have answers or a solution. However, Dr. Martinez continued, but don't worry, Lion. I have connections with a team of wildlife experts who specialize in identifying and caring for rare and unknown species. I can contact them and see if they can assist us. A glimmer of hope returned to Lion's eyes as he thanked Dr. Martinez for his offer. The veterinarian assured Lion that he would do his best to help the mysterious creature and asked him to leave his contact information. Dr. Martinez also took a photo of the animal in the box for reference. A few days later, Lion received a call from Dr. Martinez. The wildlife experts had arrived in town and were eager to examine the creature. They were intrigued by its unique features and wanted to conduct further research to determine its origins and care requirements. Lion agreed to bring the creature to the designated location, where the wildlife experts were waiting. They greeted him warmly and expressed their appreciation for Lion's efforts in caring for the animal. Over the following weeks, Lion stayed in touch with the wildlife experts, eagerly awaiting updates on the creature's condition and their findings. They discovered that the animal belonged to a previously undiscovered species of small mammals, and they named it the Lionian in honor of Lion's discovery. The Lionian turned out to be a rare and endangered species, and efforts were made to ensure its well being and conservation. Lion felt a deep sense of pride and satisfaction, knowing that his actions had led to the discovery and protection of a new species. Lion continued to collaborate with the wildlife experts assisting in their research and raising awareness about the Lionian and its conservation needs. His dedication and passion for wildlife conservation grew, and he became actively involved in local nature preservation initiatives. Through his encounter with the mysterious creature, Lion's life took an unexpected turn. He discovered a new purpose and found fulfillment in working to protect the natural world and its inhabitants. And as for the Lionian, it became a symbol of hope and the power of one person's actions to make a difference in the world.